So I picked up some uh, spindles. I'm gonna do disc brake swap on the front. I went ahead and bought uh, some 86, 1500, uh, 1986, 1500 C10 truck, two wheel drive. And uh, I got the spindles off, took them to a shop and had them sandblasted and cleaned up. And I'm currently getting, got one primer and got the other one partially painted. So here's the primer one. Pretty nice, got them all cleaned up, make them look like new. Pretty happy with that. And then here's one I got painted black partially. And I bought a, I bought a brand new calipers from an 86 and I bought brand new brake pads and bearings and seals and all that. Uh, I got the most of that stuff from uh, Rock Auto. Love that place. Get a lot of great deals. Uh, I'd like to go to O'Reilly's or some of the parts stores, but they're a little high rate. I got some uh, new fuel lines, or fuel lines, sorry. <laughs> I got some new brake lines. They're here from an 86. Uh, got the new calipers. I uh, went ahead and got a, I got a master cylinder and a booster from a 72 C10. So I think it was the first year they came out with disc brakes on, on the C10s. I'm, I'm hoping I can use that. So I bought an C10 86 master cylinder. I haven't, I didn't order the booster, but I do have a, that 72's booster and a 72 master cylinder. And it's in pretty good shape. I bought it off of a buddy that was doing his swap on his with the CCPs. I don't feel like throwing down money on the CCP set right now. Uh, I think this will work just as great, just as good. And I, oh, and I did get new rotors too. I bought a, I got them off of Summit, I believe. Yeah, Summit sells a six lug, which I wanted to keep six lugs. I got these 15 inch rims and I got 10 in the rear and eights in the front. If you've seen my other videos, you know. So I wanted to keep that six lug all around, but there's the new ones, they're six lug and they come from Summit and they're supposed to fit the inch and a quarter uh, spindles which are on the 1500 trucks and uh, there are six lugs. So, and I just bought the bearing kit for the 86 that should match these. So right, I'm gonna get back onto the spindles. It might not be today, but it's gonna be later on video and I'll, I'll continue that. Well, I'm back at it. Uh, moved from my other house to this new house. So I've been kind of slacking on not getting videos up and um, uh, been wanting to work on the C10, but been so busy with everything and trying to move and all that that i uh neglected her a little bit and haven't got to start on that front brake that i want to do the disc brake swap so i'm going to do it now um i got some more videos coming back i finally got some more work done on the 383 stroker so if you know anything about that if you've seen my other videos you've seen that i had some problems and it didn't go so well for me but I'm heading in the right direction now. Parts here. We're gonna be getting this swap on the roll. Got her jacked up. And I'm getting ready to, you like them Ford racing on the uh, Chevy fenders? <laughs> hey, they just need protection, that's all. I used to have a Mustang. But uh, yeah, we're gonna take the wheels off. And then we're gonna get at it. I gotta figure out this uh, booster stuff. So here's the block back from the shop, ready to go. And like I said, if you saw my other videos, you'd know about the motor issue. So I got some good stuff coming for her, uh, waiting on some stuff coming to mail. And you can imagine what I'm waiting for to come in the mail. So I got the wheel off both sides. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Pull these spindles off, so I gotta take off this uh, steering rod and below the lower drill arm there, and right above that nut right there. And then uh, undo that brake line. That should be good to go to pull the whole uh, the whole drum setup right out of there and get it set up for my uh, disc brakes. Under some big old piles of mud was the other bolt. I'm talking, that was all 
covering that nut. I don't, that thing ain't been off in forever. Let me see if I can get some light in there. Yeah. Scraped away a lot of dirt and mud just to get this off. Sheesh. You couldn't even see that cotter pin. I haven't even started on yet. <laughs> you can see how that nut is buried. Top one's no problem. Even the steering rod here is a little busy. But I'll get the other side off, and then I'll be on this side All next. Right. So that is a pain in the butt. I've destroyed these uh, lower ball joints. About to get those replaced. The top ones look like they've been replaced before. You can always tell if there's no rivets there and it's bolts that they've been replaced stock they have the rivets there and you have to drill them out so but they look pretty good shape i might leave those alone but i'm definitely replacing the bottom ones and replace the uh tie rod covers and uh there's the nasty one i feel like i'm out of breath and man look at that mess just a lot of grime road grime or something all over this stuff we'll need a new really really clean good there no, the other and side. just like the other side, the bottom one was a pain in the butt. This top one gave me a little bit of a stubborn move, but I got it, and it's also new. One thing I noticed I didn't like, though, is it looks like one of the bolts are undone. There ain't no, no nut on it, so I'm going to get some Loctite and another washer and nut. I'll go through and make sure they're all, those are all good. But I guess I'll maybe make a little video showing you how I'm beating the tar out of this thing. There's a lot of more grime on here. That's just dirt and road grime from where that nut was at. Alright, sometimes it helps if you get the jack under there. I'm gonna probably put that jack under there, under that ball joint. That's how I did this other one. right at the bottom of it. Maybe it can do it. Oh, it's right. so gonna get me a little bit more sturdiness there to hit. These spindles kind of I beat all around them. If you're reusing the spindles, don't do this. But like you know, I've got new spindles.
ball swing. As long as I'm not hitting these, this, I need the stuff to keep them. Look at all that stuff I can clean up. Whew. Workout. Hey, it's a workout. One thing I haven't tried yet is heat and said I reached my workout today. Ah, there she goes. Heck yeah. And she's off. And another mess to be cleaning up. Heck yeah. Oh man. Got that one off. Took a lot of beating. And a lot of sweat. Whew. I'm wore out. It's a good workout. Dirty grease. Alright. Telling you what. This truck is a 1970. I swear that dirt is definitely older than this truck. That's a lot of grime. Them lower ball joints. I'm about positive they've never been coming out of this truck before. So, gonna be a lot of cleaning to do. I'm gonna end this for this video. And I'll start back up with putting, removing these old ones and putting the new ones in on the part two probably. And then maybe I can get some spindles and maybe I'll get those spindles on and uh, I need to do the pack the bearings and everything for the new uh, disc brakes that are going on the front. Uh, I'm not sure about I'm trying I've got a I've got a power brake uh, booster and master cylinder from a 72 C10 and I was don't know exactly what I need to do on my firewall from the manual one to make the two connect so that's gonna be a something I do next uh, I might wait until I get these spindles done and save that for last make sure all these brake lines are gonna work out good and then I'll worry about the top end I want to get this done so I can get that motor in there as soon as I get them heads coming in the mail. Uh, I'm going to put all that back together and get it going. So anyways, guys, give me a like, subscribe. I'm going to get a lot more going on this truck. I've got a few more projects to do on it. This is just the start of it, man. I, uh... All right. Peace, guys. See you.